Welcome back to Minity Maths. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of numbers. Numbers are the building blocks of mathematics, and understanding the different types can help you feel more confident with the subject. We'll be starting with the basics and working our way up to some more advanced concepts. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear picture of where all these different types of numbers fit in. Let's get started. First up, we have natural numbers. These are the numbers we all start learning when we first learn to count. They include numbers like 1, 2, 3, and so on. Natural numbers are sometimes called counting numbers because we use them to count objects. So if you're counting sweets in a jar, you're using natural numbers. Natural numbers do not include zero or negative numbers. Let's start to build a diagram to visually represent where the different types of numbers fit in. We'll start by placing the natural numbers, here. Natural numbers are positive and start from 1. But what if we wanted to include 0 in our list? That brings us to whole numbers. Whole numbers are positive numbers, including 0, but do not include decimal or negative numbers. Think of whole numbers as natural numbers with zero included. Now let's add the set of whole numbers to our diagram. So, whole numbers include the set of natural numbers, but also include zero. Next, let's talk about integers. Integers take whole numbers and go one step further by including their negative counterparts. So now, we're looking at numbers like minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Integers include positive numbers, negative numbers, and 0. However, they do not include decimals. Let's place integers onto our diagram. We can see that integers contain everything in the set of whole numbers, including natural numbers. But in addition, integers contain negative numbers. Now, things get a bit more interesting with rational numbers. A rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction, where both the numerator and denominator are integers, and the denominator isn't zero. So, 1 half, 0 0.75, and even integers like 3, which is the same as 3 over 1, are all rational numbers. Rational numbers can also be represented as decimals, but these decimals must either terminate or repeat in a pattern. So, if a number can be written as a fraction, it's a rational number. Let's see where rational numbers fit in on our diagram. As you can see, rational numbers include the set of integers, which in turn includes the set of whole numbers and natural numbers, but also includes decimals that either repeat or terminate and can be written as fractions. But what about numbers that can't be written as a fraction? That's where irrational numbers come in. Irrational numbers have decimal expansions that go on forever without repeating. Famous examples include the square root of 2, pi, and Euler's number. You can't write these numbers as simple fractions, and their decimals go on endlessly without a pattern. For example, if you've ever tried to write down the exact value of pi, you know it's impossible, as it just keeps going. Let's look at where irrational numbers fit in on our diagram. Irrational numbers do not contain any of the other sets we have talked about today, so they are separate to the others. Finally, we're going to look at real numbers. Real numbers encompass both rational and irrational numbers. Any number that you can think of, that isn't imaginary, is a real number. We'll cover imaginary numbers in another video. This means that all the numbers we've talked about so far, natural, whole, integers, rational, and irrational, are all real numbers. Let's look at our diagram again. We can use real numbers to describe all of these other sets of numbers. Let's have a quick look at the hierarchy of the types of numbers we have covered today.
Again, here is our diagram to summarize. We started with natural numbers. Added zero to get whole numbers. Included negatives to get integers. And then we moved on to fractions and decimals to get rational numbers. After that, we explored the endless world of irrational numbers. And finally, we wrapped it all up with real numbers. Now have a go at these practice questions and pause the video while you work on them. Thanks for watching.